everybody, this is Stacy. Uh, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all had a great Christmas and an awesome new year. And I'm back today. I wanted to show you this really cool little app that I found um, for your Apple devices. So it works um, on your iPad, it works on your iPhone, and it's a great way to uh, print out pictures just about any size you want from your home printer and um, you have, you can arrange your picture so they're very little uh, waste of paper. And it doesn't matter if you are a scrapbooker, if you make mini albums, if you do junk journals. Or... The app is called Print to Size. And the little icon looks like that. It looks like a little printer. Once you load the app, now I will have to say the app does cost, it is not free. It is $1.99. So when you pull the app up, the first thing you see is um, this screen here. And what this is showing you here is US letter size. So this shows you eight and a half by 11 size. It's automatic default. Um, so this is the first screen that pops up. So you know here you're gonna be have a print area of eight and a half by 11, which is great because most of us have printers that are eight and a half by 11 or uh, so if you want to change this you can so down here in the corner there's a little wheel down there a little gear and that is your setting so you hit the little gear and that brings up your settings menu so you have an option for paper size orientation and measure in so for paper size obviously the default is us letter but if you hit that it opens up this huge drop down, or maybe drop up in this case. <laughs> I don't know, but this huge drop down of every different size papers. I mean, you can go five by seven, you can do A0, A1, legal, tabloid, executive, you know, you can do measurements, so on and so forth, okay? So that's pretty cool. So you go back to your options. Let me slide this down for you. And then you have orientation. So you have automatic, so you can do portrait or you can do landscape and it'll flip it around for you, landscape. You can see there. So do this, okay. So now you have measure in. So your choices here are centimeter, millimeter, and inches. And of course I have mine set um, to inches because you know, it's an American thing. <laughs> That's what I'm comfortable with. Let me change this uh, orientation back to portrait. Okay. So then you have a clear the, clear the page option and then about the app. Now right here in a very light gray color is the undo and redo buttons. Okay. We'll use those. I'll show you how to use those in a minute. Most of you know, but then we have the little plus sign, that's where you're gonna add your pictures or you're gonna add um, any kind of graphic that you downloaded, you know, eph ephemera type graphic or whatever you need. And then you've got your print icon over here. All right, and I will show you how this works. It's super easy. So here's my eight and a half by 11 template. So I'm going to go to this and this will automatically, you know, you're gonna have to give a permission to access your photos. So now it's gonna pop up your photos. So I want to go to my albums and I made a file called printable for this um, demonstration. So I'm going to hit that. I'm going to open these up and this is my little doggy. She's super cute. It's going to download that for me. Okay. So here's my little doggy Lil and right now she is 3.65 by 4.85 inches on my paper. And then also for you people that wanna know um, the PPI, which I believe is pixels per inch, it also shows that as okay. well. So if you click on the picture, it brings up another menu. So you have the option to delete, crop, duplicate, rotate, and to flip. So um, just for example, you can flip that upside down and then we can turn it back. You can flip it like a mirror image, like if you wanted to print on a, a shirt or and we can put it back. We can rotate it. Okay. Um, 
we can make another one and it'll give us the same measurements and the same uh, PPI okay so I wanted to let's delete that one okay there's a couple ways to crop you can obviously hit crop that way but I find the easiest thing to do is if you drag the corner it's going to make it well this will this will size it sorry this won't crop this part sizes it so now you can see here now I've shrunk it down to 2.30 by 3.05 now or I can make it huge 5.45 by 7.25 and this also keeps it um, doesn't stretch your image or you know mess up your image in any way it keeps it locked now let's say I wanted to crop the picture let me make this a little bigger so you can see better let's say I wanted to crop this picture these little triangles will crop this picture for me so maybe I wanted to take this little bit of space out here um, up above her head so if you hit the triangle you can crop it and pull it down and it's giving you the measurements the whole time that you're doing it so if you're looking for a specific measurement you're good to go now let's say I wanted to make this I don't know more of a square I have my measurements here so the sides are already 6.5 so let's bring this to 6.5 okay now I have a perfect little square of Lillian that I can print out now maybe I want to shrink her okay and move her over here in the corner and you can move this all the way up to the edge of your paper and let's just say I click on that and I, just for time's sake we won't pull up another picture and I'm going to duplicate her little picture now this does have lines let me pull these down a little bit whoops okay so if you can see when I hit that move that picture into position it's lining everything up for me so if you want um, actually no white showing around the picture you can line these up perfectly so there you go now if you want some space in between they're still lined up and now you've got space in between the only thing that I wish this had was some kind of grid on it so you could not have to eyeball your spacing let's okay see. so there's my little pictures of Lillian let me get rid of these okay and I want to go back and I'm gonna add some different pictures so I'm gonna go back to that album here so I'm gonna grab some of these printables I went to the graphics fairy and grab some of these uh, graphics real quick do, do, do. So add that. And the only other thing too, I wish you could select multiple photos. I don't, so this is where, this is so great if you're making tags, if you're making junk journal, if you're doing mixed media, um, you know, anything like that. And let me do one more. <laughs> so let me grab this last one here. Okay, so now I need to, obviously I need to resize some of these. So, to get everything to fit and you can just quickly move stuff around I'm gonna resize da, 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 da. let's see let's move this one down here and we'll put this one over here and we'll resize it but you get the idea right super easy super quick to do you can put a ton of things you know on your page it tells you the size so if I click on this, you know, it tells me that when this prints out, this is gonna be five inches by 3.55. So you can arrange all your little um, clip art, ephemera, all of that stuff. And you know what size it's gonna be, you know? And so you can do a lot of ephemera at once. And then the other thing is for junk journalers, if you like to print um, pictures on the pages before you sew your signature in um, you can do that quickly from here as well so let me delete a 
couple of these. Okay, so here is your, um, here is your uh, Hujima, what's it, your advertisement. Here's your picture that you're gonna wanna use. Couple ways to do it. Probably the easiest thing to do would be change your paper, oops, not that. Change your paper orientation to landscape. Okay, done. Do, 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 do. And you click on this and you're gonna wanna rotate it. Okay, so now you've got, oh, did it get rid of, oh, I guess it does when you're using it. Do, do. Wait, hold on, wait a minute. My page doesn't look right. Let's go back to portrait. Okay, landscape. Oh, well. Okay. <laughs> You're gonna have to turn your iPad. <laughs> I knew something was up. <laughs> so now your iPad's landscape and you have your whole page <laughs> it fit and fit on your screen. Okay. So let's say I wanted this on this side of the page. Okay, maybe I want it bigger. So I'm gonna stretch it out, make it bigger. Okay, um, if this was a larger picture, of course you're gonna draw an imaginary line down the center because you don't want part of it printing over to the other side. But now you've got something printed on one side of your page, right? And a blank side of your page, you go to sew your, you know, your uh, signatures in, and you've got a blank side, and you've got a, a side already printed that has um, your advertisement, your ephemera, whatever on it. So that's pretty cool, right? Okay, so after you're done with that, you gotta be careful where you put your fingers, you're gonna hit your print. Now, obviously this is gonna be wireless, so you have to have a wireless printer to do this. Um, you have some choices here as well as print. So there's my printer. It's already picking up my printer, which is good. Um, then you're gonna have a print mode. Uh, color photo, general color, grayscale photo, grayscale general. Every, you know, everybody's printer is different. So um, that kind of thing. I found out because um, when I was doing my little test prints, I didn't have any um, uh, photo paper, regular photo paper. I only have the matte photo paper. Um, so I found out if I just hit general, it was a better photo print for me. So um, you're just gonna have to play around with it a few times and see what works for you. The other thing you have is export as a PDF, export as a JPEG, or save for later. So you've got um, the option, let's say export as a JPEG. Now it's gonna ask you, where do you want this to go? So you can send it to your photos, you can save it in your files, you can send it to whatever your documents, folder, that kind of thing. And you can send that as a PDF or um, a JPEG. Um, and then the last thing is save for later. So you have this menu that pops up and then you can figure out um, where you wanna save it. Well, here's another thing too, let's say um, I'm making a journal for a friend and it. I want to have, you know, she's a, an avid journaler and I want her to have, you know, pictures of herself or her family or whatever. So maybe on one page I can print a picture, you know, I'm talking about a junk journal, so this is gonna, isn't gonna be photo paper, but maybe I can do a picture on one page and then whatever the theme of the ephemera is, you know, on another page. And look, I picked bourbon. <laughs> so your friend's a heavy drinker and she loves her dog. No, <laughs> I'm kidding. But anyways, <laughs> you get the idea, right? That's it, you guys. You have a great day and I will be back here real soon. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.